Our examination begins at the groin area, where we'll locate the common femoral vein. As we apply gentle pressure with the ultrasound probe, we observe the vein's compressibility. This is a key sign we're looking for, a compressible vein typically indicates the absence of a clot. Moving slightly down, we focus on the femoral vein. Again, we apply pressure, and we're looking for that same compressibility. The ability to compress the vein fully under the probe is a good indication that the vein is free from obstruction. We examine the femoral vein and its distal third. We then navigate behind the knee to assess the popliteal vein. This vein, nestled deep within the knee's popliteal fossa, is another critical area where clots can form. Observing the vein's response to compression helps us to continue our exclusion of a deep vein thrombosis. Lastly, we examine the gastrocnemius veins, located in the calf. These smaller veins can also harbor clots, especially in patients with limited mobility or other risk factors. Compressibility in these veins adds another layer of reassurance in our comprehensive assessment. In conclusion, our rapid ultrasound examination focusing solely on vein compressibility provides a valuable tool in the emergency setting to rule out deep vein thrombosis. Dive into the captivating world of ultrasonography in just a few seconds. Hit subscribe and boost your ultrasonography expertise.